Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler So, to sum up, whatever form of transport we use, whether it be bicycles, Jones's van, or any other form of vehicular transport, the whole thing boils down to one thing in the end, the three Fs. <laughs> Fast feet, functional feet, and last but not least, fit feet. <laughs> I've got here two diagrams issued by the Royal Army Medical Corps. And the first one <laughs> shows what a good foot should be. <laughs> uh, take the first metatarsal here. Mr. Speaker. Yeah. I am not formed as other men, sir. <laughs> My foot's not the same as what's on that chart, sir. Blimey, don't tell me they're webbed. <laughs> All right, that'll do, Walker. What way is your foot different, well, Joe? That, that, I haven't got a first man manager. I haven't... <laughs> I've got a big toe there, sir. <laughs> Metatarsal is the medical term for toe, Jones. Thank you very much, sir. We have the first metatarsal, second metatarsal, third metatarsal, fourth metatarsal, and last but not least... The little piggy that went wee-wee-wee-wee-wee all the way out. <laughs> <laughs> not really a laughing matter, you know, Wilson. <laughs> Hold that for me. Right, sir, yes. Now, you see how perfectly the line of the boot is. No pinching and no cramping. Now, in contrast to that, I'm going to show you something rather nasty. <laughs> Show them your foot, Wilson. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Unroll your foot. Well, I'm ready. The I don't quite understand. The di let them see the diagram. Well, why don't you say so, sir? It's quite simple. <laughs> now, there you see what can happen in a really bad fitting shoe. So, obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is check all your boots and see that your feet fit into them properly. Right. All right. Spun. <laughs> yes. Yes. That seems all right. All right. <laughs> right. Are my metatarsals fighting fit? Yes, they're very good, Pike. Very good. Good indeed. All right, sir. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sergeant. <clears throat> Godfrey. Oh. <laughs> Put your foot up, Godfrey. <laughs> Go higher than that. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. Now you're not getting any younger, are we, sir? Look to your front. <laughs> Long time she's in here. <laughs> that chair's to put your foot on, Godfrey. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, sir. Yes, well, that seems all right, yes. That should carry you a good 20 miles. Yes. Uh, thank you for your confidence, sir. Uh, put your foot up, walk up. No need to worry about me, Mr. Manning. My feet are fine. Put your foot up. No, I'm telling you, if I'm in Alton, no, I've had my feet. Do as you're told. Oh, rather big feet, haven't you? You realised what big feet you had, Walker? Huh? Well, you know what they say big feet, big. Big what? <laughs> Just an expression. What's he talking about? Really? <laughs> His nose looks absolutely normal to me. <laughs> uh, 
Hello? Something strange here, Wilson. Why strange, sir? Very strange indeed. <laughs> What's the meaning of that? Well, it's more comfy. There's a government property and you've ruined them. No, they're not the ones I was issued with. I've got 200 pairs down in the stores. If not, I'll let you have some if you like. All right, no. that'll do. <laughs> See me afterwards. Corporal. <laughs> you don't want to worry about my feet, sir. I've got pretty feet, sir. Very pretty feet. You know, when I was in India, my feet was the talk of the cantonment. <laughs> I was wandering one day nonchalantly through the bazaar by way of Peshaw down to the river, and I noticed a young native woman, and she was doing a spot of dobing. So I quickly whipped off, whipped off my socks and my boots, sir, to wash my feet, you understand, when I heard her come murmuring towards me. Sundabaha, Sundabaha. <laughs> that means you have got pretty feet. But do you know, sir, I noticed one thing about that young woman I noticed before, sir. She was stripped to the waist, sir. Stripped to the waist she was. They do a lot of that. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> anyway, they seem in tip-top condition. Yes, sir. Well, I always like to bathe them in tea. When we was in the Sudan, we always bathed them in tea, sir. In tea? Yes, sir. What a good idea. Uh, Indian or China? <laughs> Don't be insolent, Godfrey. Right. Well, it seems to me that we've got a great deal of work to do to get our feet up to scratch. So, starting from next weekend, we're going to do a series of long route marches. Long day, right. Dark time in front. Mm -hmm. Go on, the rest of you. Dark time in front. Right, two. Two. Halt! Well done, men. Well done indeed. That's five miles yesterday, seven miles today. Now, on the command fallout, I want you to take off your boots and prepare your feet for inspection. Gobble Jones? Yeah. <laughs> I inspect the men's feet in five minutes. Sergeant, just come in the office, man. Yes, of course, yes. Two, fall out. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh. Good to get the weight off one's feet. Yeah. I asked you to come in here, Wilson, because... Uh, excuse I'll... me, sir. Excuse yes. me. I wonder, uh, would you mind off if I was to sit down as well? Why? Aren't you feeling very well? No, I feel fine, sir. Perfectly fine. I just feel a little bit tired, that's all. Well, didn't you sleep well? Well, not for the last two or three hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, sit down, if you must. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. Very good of you, sir. OK, Wilson. You and I have got a certain position to uphold in front of them, too. Yes, of course. I think I'm a pretty shrewd judge of character. Of course, sir, yes. And over the years that we've known each other, I think I've got to know your character pretty well. Yeah. You're not the brash extrovert type of chap who's always bawling and shouting. You handle men quietly and, and subtly. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. I also got the feeling that you're rather a shy and sensitive man in many ways. I therefore never do anything to embarrass you in front of the men or show up in front of the, the rest of the platoon. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And for that reason, I'm not going to ask you to have your feet inspected with the rest of the men. Well, it's very kind of you, sir. So, when we, before we go out there and inspect the men's feet, I'll have a look at yours here in private. But you don't have to... Uh, <laughs> you don't have to inspect my feet, sir. I mean, they're perfectly all right. Yes, I don't doubt that they are, but uh, I have to be sure, haven't I? Yes, of course, yes, yes, of course. Well, take off your boots. Well, uh... <laughs> oh, uh, come on, Wilson. It's only me. <laughs> <laughs> now, look. Yeah. We can't have one rule for some and another rule for others. Yes, quite. Well, in that case, um, who is going to inspect your feet, sir? <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Yes, I see your point. Look here. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> what? Don't make 
make a fuss. Don't make a fuss. Yeah. There's a couple of money's orders now. Yeah. Go on, jump to it and I'll go and get him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sarge. <laughs> I didn't know it was private, sir. The platoon's ready, sir. Platoon's ready for inspection. Oh, right. Well, right, no, we won't, sir. No matter. Mr. Fraser. Mind you, son, but what have I got? Gun and bear it, that's all. Yeah, I've got the very thing here, some foot salve. Six months of time. Oh, no, Joe, I don't want any of that rubbish. Well, how do you know? You haven't tried it yet. Huh? Could I have some, please, Joe? Oh, Joe, Here we go. Now then, if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. How about that? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet that feels better already, isn't it? <laughs> oh. There you are. Oh, thank you. What about you, Taffy? Well, um... It's ever so soothing, Mr Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Joe. Right. <laughs> You won't regret this. <laughs> All right, as long as I don't... <laughs> as long as I don't have to pay for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't worry. If you don't like it, you don't have to pay for it. I bet that feels better already, doesn't it? Yeah, not bad. Not bad, John, not bad. <laughs> right. Two. 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 Shut! <laughs> Mr. Speaks up. Yes, Cole. I'd like to volunteer to be the first soldier to have his feet inspected, sir. Very well. How do you? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. That's very nice of you, sir. Thank you, sir. Right, sir. I'm prepared, sir. Who do that? Very good reflexes, haven't you, Cole? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, very good. Very good. One or two blisters there. See, there's... <laughs> very good. Yes, very good. Well, it's obvious we've got quite a lot of work to do. So, as from tomorrow, we're going to embark on an intensive course of feet hardening. Now, I know some of us are not as young as we used to be. I'm sure that we'll all put a, bo a very bold fit. <laughs> I came, I saw, I conquered. I came, I saw, I conquered. It's plain to see you conquered me. Each time I shake a shoulder, I get a little bolder. A dance like this is a my sweet The bungles beat the rhythm. <laughs> it's a rhythm. It's a rhythm. Is in vain now, you'll be able to meet them halfway. Left, 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 right, left. I shouldn't go too far that way, Mr. Mannering. There's a great big. <laughs> Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 
Having a nightmare, Mum. Oh. I dreamt. I dreamt we were marching and marching. My feet were all swollen up and horrible. Oh, never mind. It's all over now. Now you can go back to sleep. It's all that marching you've been doing. I'm going to have a few words to say to Captain Mannering tomorrow. He's only trying to make our feet tough, Mum. Your feet won't stand it. You've got sensitive feet. You've always had sensitive feet ever since you were a child. Runs in the family. Your Uncle George had such sensitive feet he didn't know where to put them. <laughs> Would you like a hot drink? No, thanks, Mum. All right, then. Mum? Frank? Good night. No, Frank. <laughs> Mum? Frank? Can I have a drink of water, please? All right, Frank. I'll leave the light on. Mum? <laughs> Kitchen water, not bathroom water. Right. You don't have to tell me, I know. Oh, blimey. Yeah. Look at that, another route march on Sunday. 20 miles, this is ridiculous. Oh, no, we're never dead. It'll kill us, you know. I don't think I can take any more. Come along, Frank. I'm going to have this out with Captain Manor in here and now. My mouth is such a fool. I can't help that. Evening. Hello, Mavis. I want to speak to Captain Mannering, Arthur. Well, I'm afraid he hasn't arrived yet. Have you seen Frank's feet? I really haven't uh, noticed them recently, no. Oh, they're in a terrible state. Are they? He woke up screaming in the night. Really? I didn't hear him. Arthur! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mum? Hmm? Uncle Arthur lives miles away. How could he hear me in the night? <laughs> Never you mind about that. Go and stand over there. Now, listen, Arthur. Yes? You're going to tell Captain Mannering that I'm not having Frank going on any more route marches. Well, I can't possibly do that. Well, if you don't, and Frank wakes up in the night again, you won't be there to hear it. In <laughs> <laughs> class, I... Yes? I've got an idea. I'm delighted. <laughs> if Mr. Mannering's feet hurt, yes. he can't go on the route march, can he? Yes, that's right. No, no, he wouldn't be able to, would he? No. No, but of All we've got to do yeah? is get a pair of boots just like Mr. Mannering's, yes. only a size smaller, and swap them over. That's an awfully good idea, Frank. It's really very clever indeed. I, I bet nobody has ever thought of an idea like that. Look, all we've got to do is get a pair of boots the same as Mr. Mannering wears, only a bit smaller, and swap them over. No, he'd tumble it. No, he wouldn't not if we go to the same shop where he gets his boots. Then we make them look a bit worn, he'll never know the difference. Oh, that's awfully clever. I bet no one's ever thought of an idea like that. <laughs> my shoes stand from Havana. Hey, now, here, listen, now let me do the talking. Hey, Charlie. Now, when I give you a signal, you say you feel a bit faint, you want a glass of water. A glass of water? All right. This is going to cost us a fortune. <coughs> look out, look out. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Oh, good afternoon. My friend here would like some brown boots. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want black boots? Brown ones are only for officers. Uh, uh, well, no, he's going to be an officer, aren't you? Yes, I, I'm going to be an officer. 
Oh, well, you've certainly got the experience to be an officer. Yes. What size? Well, I, I should probably be a big officer. Size <laughs> <laughs> of boots, you fool. I'd, I'd like the size of eight, please. Eight. Thank yes. you. Uh, by the way, uh, Mr Mannering, he gets his boots here, doesn't he? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, he'd like a pair like Mr Mannering's, wouldn't you? Well, I, yes, I'd like a pair like Mr. Mannering, please. Very really well. Uh, uh, mister, how, how, how much is all this going to cost? Uh, 36 shillings the pair. <laughs> Nine shillings, he told Joe, for God's sake, and <laughs> induce the man to find something cheaper. Now, there we are. Oh. Oh, oh, you don't look very well, Mr. Godfrey. You better sit down and look a bit pale. Oh, 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 What size does he take? He takes us. I, I don't know. You do know what size he takes, Taffy. How well, should I know? Do you know, Charlie? Uh, know what? Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Here, listen. When he comes back with a glass of water, drink it down as fast as you can. Ask him for another one. <laughs> there you are, sir. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry you are not feeling well. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> that wasn't enough, was it, Godfrey? Oh, I... Do you think I could have another one? Oh. <laughs> well done, Charlie. Yeah. You didn't ask him what size Mr. Manning's boots were. I, mean, I didn't have time, did I? Here, listen, Charlie. When he brings the glass back, drink it down as quick as you can, ask him for another one. <laughs> I don't think I can drink another one. Well, you have to force yourself, won't you? Listen, while he's drinking it, you ask him what size boots Mr. Manning takes. Thank you. I thought I'd bring plenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but he, 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 you'd like another one. He'd like another yes, one, wouldn't yes, you? Yes. yes. Right. Hey, come and I'll help you. Hey, oh, oh, I'm yes, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what size of boot does Mr. Mannering take? You know? Oh, Mr. Mannering has a very small foot. He takes a six and a half. Why? Uh, he'd like some more. Have some more. Oh. Yeah, hang on. I'll help you. It's careful. You're spilling it. You're spilling it. Joe. You're dicing with death, filling the man up like this. <laughs> I, I, I think that's enough, thank you. Oh. Uh, Josie! Right, right. Watch, watch uh, you like a drop of water, wouldn't you? But, oh, yes. Oh. oh, yes, yes, thank you very much. I, I do a lot of work in the Sudan, you know. I, I can't get enough water, really. <laughs> so, you know, when he was out in the Sudan, he nearly died at first. Oh, dear. Oh, I nearly... I, I nearly died of thirst in the Sudan, I did. Uh, yeah. I nearly died of it, you yeah, see. No, don't yeah, finish yeah. it. No, don't finish it. Oh, look, they finished it all now. And I mean, oh. seeing all these people sort yeah. of drinking, it's made me a bit thirsty. Can you get some more? Oh. God. Right, swap these for a size six. Right. Right. Six. Six, six, six. Right. 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 Six. Right. 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 Six. Right. 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 Well done. Well. Well, what's happened? We thought we saw a mouse. Yes, it was just. More of a little mouse than anything, you know. Uh, uh, right, we'll, uh, we'll take these. Well, doesn't he want to try them on? Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't want his feet to be seen, doesn't like his feet being seen. He's very sensitive about his toes. Why is that? What's wrong with him? He had his toes tortured in the Sudan, didn't you? Yes, they, they tortured my toes terribly. They were terrible toe torturers, you know. <laughs> yeah, right, paint a man, Taffy. Taffy? Uh, yes. Pee-pee! Give me 36, Bob. 36 shillings for a... A pair of boots is highway yes, of robbery. That's what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Bye. Yeah, wait a minute. What about the coupons? Blimey coupons. Yeah, hang on. How many do you want? Where on earth did you get all those coupons? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a big family. <laughs> Before we go, uh, uh, do, do you think I could be excused a moment? <laughs> There's no time. There's no time. No time. 
funny. I've never seen any mice in here. Stand in my shoes. Stand from her bummer. Oh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. I'd, um, I'd rather like to get a pair of brown boots for this young man. Brown, eh? Is he going to be an officer as well? What? Well, only officers are allowed to wear brown boots, you know. Are they? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, yes. Yes, that's right, yes, yes. He's, uh, he's going to be an officer as well. <laughs> he's a, a bit young for an officer. But well, he's frightfully keen. <laughs> I bet you're a proud father. I don't quite follow you. Well, your son becoming an officer. Yes, well, he's, uh, <clears throat> he's, uh... It's not my son, see. Um, it's funny. I, yes. I could have sworn that. Oh, would you mind awfully just going away and getting the boots? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. What size does the young man what take? What size? What, uh, what size? Hmm? Uh, what? Nine. Nine. Please. Nine. Yes, please. <clears throat> oh, I want the same sort of Mr. Mannering has, please. Uh, don't they all? Ah. Oh. There you are. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> <laughs> Will one glass be sufficient? <laughs> what? That's water. You're feeling faint, aren't you? It's very clever of you, very clever indeed. How, how, how did you guess? Uh, I'll get you one. Yes. Right. Now look here, Frank. Uh, quick as you can, uh, change these into a size six, will you please? Quick as you can. Yes. Right. Hurry up. Six is here, Uncle. Well, try, try, try higher up. Go on. Such a noise. Yes, you can. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Seven, eight, ten, eight. There's no sixes, Uncle. Try higher up then. Mum will have a fit when she what finds out you sent me up so high. You know I get terrible burdens. <laughs> Frank, that's enough. I think I've got a size six here. It's all right. You can come down now. It'd be a very nasty injury. Just I'm sorry. Sit down. Come sit down. Oh. Ah, thank you so much. We uh, <clears throat> we saw a mouse, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. I brought the cat. <laughs> that's a good job, anyway. What are you talking about? A good job. It's a good job Mrs. Manning makes him sleep with her in the air raid shelter every night. And made it easier for you to change the boots, didn't it? Easy. I nearly took the top of my head off trying to get through that small little door. Did you manage to change the boots, Uncle? Just keep your voice down, will you? Oh, well, did you? Yes. <laughs> morning, men. Good morning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fall them in, Sergeant. I'm just going to uh, get the map. Right, sir. Right, right. <laughs> Right. Uh, would you mind? Uh, would you mind all falling in, please? Put it you can. Come in. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Oh, Battery. Good morning. I brought that pair of boots you left for a pair last week. Oh, thank you. Well, I thought you said that as leather was so short, I'd have to wait another month. But I managed to find you have it. It was the least I could do. After all, you sent me all those customers. Really? <laughs> I think I should change into these, you know. These, these are pinching me a bit. Well, I'll, I'll put them on your account, Mr. Barry. Right. Well, I give him about half a mile before those uh, boots start to pinch him and he has to pack it up. What do you say, Jonesy? Well, I'll give him further than that. I'll give him a mile. You know, and no, I never do a mile. Well, I say he will. Ten, Bob. You're on. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> Two, ten, shut! Right. I'm in. Twenty miles is a long march, but if I can do it, so can you. Where's the speak, sir? Yes, Corporal. As long as you can keep going, sir, we shall be there right behind you. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yep. Right. The two will move to the left in threes. Left turn! Now let's start off with a merry heart. Corporal Jones! Sir? Lead off in single file. A two with a merry heart. Quick, march! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.